is this video is about uh, measures of dispersion which are also called as averages of second order right it is because measures of dispersion measure the average amount of variation in the data with respect to measures of central tendency the measures of central tendency are called averages of first order there are four measures of dispersion they are range quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation right at this point of time it is necessary to understand the difference between absolute measures and relative measures absolute measures are the measures which give the answers in terms of the unit in which the data is expressed so this is an absolute measure and this is the relative measure of range okay which is also called the coefficient of range so here the answer that you get will be independent of the unit in which the data is expressed and the formula for quartile deviation is this which is also called as semi interquartile range and the relative measure of which is q3 minus q1 divided by q3 plus q1 the mean deviation actually conforms with the definition of measures of dispersion it measures the average amount of variation in the data with respect to measures of central tendency right this a you are measuring the average amount of variation in the data with respect to measures of central tendency your a can be mean or median or mode <coughs> this is the formula for individual series and uh, this is the formula for discrete series and this is the formula for continuous series fine okay so mean deviation divided by a is the relative measure of mean deviation which is also called as coefficient of mean deviation standard deviation which is denoted as sigma is called root mean square deviation right it is the square root of arithmetic mean of squares of deviations of the observations from the arithmetic mean and the corresponding relative measure is called coefficient of variation okay fine now uh, we are also going to discuss the measures of skewness the absence of symmetry is uh, measured using a uh, skewness the bowley's coefficient of skewness is given as the formula is q3 plus q1 minus 2q2 divided by q3 minus q1 and the carl pearson's coefficient of skewness is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation for moderately skewed distribution mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean this is the relationship between mean median and mode as far as moderately skewed distribution is concerned right having all these points in our mind let us solve the problems for today the measure of skewness of a frequency distribution is minus point minus 0.8 if the lower and upper quartiles are 44.1 and 56.6 respectively find the median so the measure of skewness is given sb which is equal to q3 plus q1 minus 2 q2 divided by q3 minus q1 q3 is minus 0.8 sorry sb is minus 0.8 q3 is the upper quartile which is 56.6 q1 is the lower quartile which is 44.1 minus 2 times of q2 divided by 56.6 minus 44.1 if you reduce this you are going to get 12.5 and if you add this it is 100.7 okay and uh, when you multiply these two you get minus 10 right so 2q2 it goes to the left and this when comes to the right becomes 110.7 when added so your q2 which is median is 110.7 by 2 which is 5 5.35 so the answer is option b right 
let us come to the next question mod minus x bar is 3.75 and your x bar is 20 so mod minus mod minus 20 is 3.75 which implies mod is equal to 23.75 what is median you are also supposed to find median we know the relationship between median mode and uh, mean which is 3 times of median minus 2 times of mean is equal to mode your mode is known here 23.75 median is not known mean is known right 2 into 20 so 3 times of median is equal to with this 40 when it goes to the right becomes plus 40 you have 63.75 so median is equal to 63.75 divided by 3 3 2s are 6 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 5 so the option 1 23.75 median is 21.25 is the right answer option A is the correct answer okay let us come to the next uh, problem for 25 observations x bar plus median is 45 x bar plus median is 45 and x bar minus median is 3 so what are mean median and mode that is the question so when you add these two equations you get 2 x bar equal to 48 x bar is 24 48 divided by 2 when you substitute x bar uh, uh, as 24 here 24 minus median is equal to 3 which implies median is equal to 21 of course we are close to the answer mode is equal to 3 median minus 2 mean right 3 times of 21 minus 2 times of 24 the answer is 63 minus 48 you get 15 so option A is the right answer okay option a is the right choice now come to the next question mm -hmm. coefficient of skewness is minus 0.5 mean is 21 and sigma is to find mode so naturally you should use Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness here when quartiles are given you should use Bowley's coefficient of skewness Bowley's coefficient of skewness is, is otherwise called quartile coefficient of skewness right this q coefficient is po minus 0.5 mean is 21 mode is not known sigma is 2 which implies 21 minus mode is equal to minus 1 which implies mode is equal to 21 plus 1 22 option b option b is the right answer okay fine now what is the harmonic mean of 1 comma 1 by 2 comma etc 1 by n you know Harmonic mean is defined as n divided by summation 1 by x, right? So, n observations are here. 1 by 1 is 1. 1 by 1 by 2 is simply 2. 1 by 1 by 3 is simply 3 plus etc. 1 by 1 by n is n. So, you have n divided by sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. n and n are cancelled. So, you get 2 by n plus 1 the answer is option a okay fine the next question what is the arithmetic mean of 1 2 etc up to n so you should add all the numbers and divide by n the sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2 when you divide by n your answer is simply n plus 1 by 2 the answer is option b okay what is the arithmetic mean of 1 4 9 etc you can simply apply the formula but that is not a good idea right instead you just think over it it is nothing but 1 square 2 square 3 square etc 10 square so the sum of first n natural numbers what is the sum of first n natural numbers this is the formula n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 your n here is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 2 into 10 is 20 plus 1 is 21 by 6 this is the sum of the numbers and you are supposed to divide this by how many observations are there 10 observations 10 and 10 are cancelled 2 3s are 6 2 3 7 3 2s are 6 3 7s are 21 the answer is 77 divided by 2 okay
38.5 option a is the right answer okay fine now uh, let us uh, have all these problems in the next video right thank you